Sea urchins are fascinating marine invertebrates belonging to the class Echinoidea within the phylum Echinodermata, which also include sea stars, sand dollars, and sea cucumbers. These small, spiny creatures are an essential part of marine ecosystems, and they exhibit a range of intriguing physical characteristics, behaviors, and ecological roles. Below is a detailed description of sea urchins. Point 1. Physical Characteristics Sea urchins are well known for their round, globular shape and distinctive spines that cover their entire body. The body, or test, is typically about the size of a grapefruit, though it can vary significantly depending on the species. The test is made up of fused calcium carbonate plates arranged in a pattern that forms a rigid, hollow shell. This shell is covered with movable spines that help protect the sea urchin from predators. Spines The spines serve multiple purposes, from defense to locomotion. They are sharp and can easily deter many predators. The spines of some sea urchins are venomous, delivering painful stings that can be harmful to humans and other animals. In addition to defense, sea urchins use their spines to move, by coordinating the movement of their spines and tube feet discussed below, sea urchins can crawl across the ocean floor in search of food, tube feet. Sea urchins, like all echinoderms, have a unique vascular system known as the water vascular system, which is used for movement and respiration. Through this system, sea urchins control their tube feet small, flexible appendages that protrude through pores in the test. These tube feet act like suction cups, allowing the urchin to grip surfaces and navigate rocky, uneven terrain. The tube feet also play a critical role in respiration, as they facilitate gas exchange by taking in oxygen from the surrounding water. Mouth Aristotle's lantern, on the underside of the sea urchin, there is a specialized feeding structure called Aristotle's. Lantern, named after the ancient Greek philosopher who first described it, this complex apparatus consists of five calcareous plates teeth that work together to scrape algae, seagrass, and other food particles off surfaces. Sea urchins are primarily herbivores, though some species are omnivorous. The teeth of the urchin are incredibly strong and continuously grow throughout the urchin's life, compensating for wear and tear from scraping food off hard surfaces, to habitat. Sea urchins are found in oceans all over the world, from the shallow waters of rocky shores to the deep sea. They thrive in a wide variety of environments, including coral reefs, kelp forests, rocky outcrops, and even seagrass meadows. They prefer habitats with plenty of hiding places to protect themselves from predators and strong ocean currents. Temperate and tropical waters while sea urchins are abundant in tropical waters, particularly around coral reefs, they are also found in colder, temperate regions. For example, the purple sea urchin Strongylocentris purpuratus is commonly found along the Pacific coast of North America, where it plays a vital role in the kelp forest ecosystem. Deep Sea Some species of sea urchins have adapted to life in the deep ocean, where food is scarce and conditions are extreme. These deep-sea urchins have adapted to lower energy requirements and slower growth rates, helping them survive in the nutrient-poor environments of the deep ocean. 3. Feeding and Diet Sea urchins are typically herbivores, with algae as their primary source of food. However, depending on the species and environment, their diet can be more varied, including both plant and animal matter. Here's a breakdown of their diet. Algae and seaweed, most sea urchins feed on various types of algae, which they scrape off rocks and coral using their strong teeth. This makes them an essential part of controlling algal. Growth in marine ecosystems, help, in kelp forests, sea urchins play a significant role in shaping the ecosystem. They graze on kelp, and in large numbers, can create urchin barrens where all the kelp has been consumed, drastically changing the environment. Detritus and small organisms, some sea urchins will also consume dead organic matter. Detritus and small invertebrates, making them opportunistic omnivores. 4. Reproduction Sea urchins reproduce sexually, with separate male and female individuals. 
Reproduction typically occurs through external fertilization, where both the male and female release their sperm and eggs into the water. Here are some key points about their reproductive process. Spawning. Spawning is often synchronized by environmental cues such as changes in water temperature, linear cycles, or the availability of food. During spawning events, thousands of sea urchins may release their gametes simultaneously, increasing the chances of fertilization. Larval stage. Once fertilization occurs, sea urchin larvae, known as pluteus larvae, are free, swimming and planktonic. During this stage, they drift with ocean currents, feeding on microscopic plankton. After a few weeks, the larvae settle on the ocean floor and undergo metamorphosis into juvenile urchins. Growth, sea urchins grow slowly and can take several years to reach full size. Their long life strain up to 30 years for some species allows them to play a significant role in their ecosystems. Over extended periods, point five, behavior and defense mechanisms. Sea urchins are not fast movers, but they have evolved several fascinating defense strategies to survive in their often hostile marine environments. Spines and venom. The primary defense mechanism of sea urchins is their sharp spines, which can deter predators. Some species have spines that are toxic, injecting venom when they puncture the skin of a predator or human. The flower sea urchin Toxopeus pileolus is one of the most venomous species, and contact with its spines can cause severe pain, swelling, and even paralysis. Camouflage sea urchins sometimes use debris shells and algae to cover themselves, a behavior known as Masking, by carrying these objects on their spines, they blend into their environment more effectively, making it harder for predators to spot them. Regeneration, like many other echinoderms, sea urchins have the remarkable ability to regenerate lost spines or damaged tissue. If a sea urchin loses its spines due to predation or environmental stress, it can grow new ones over time. Ecological importance, sea urchins play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems, particularly in their role as herbivores. Controlling algal growth, sea urchins help keep algal populations in check by feeding on algae and seaweed. This prevents algae from overgrowing and smothering coral reefs, allowing other species to thrive. And Ecosystems like kelp forests, sea urchins play a dual role as both maintainers of balance and disruptors when their population grows out of control, impact on kelp forests. In some cases, when sea urchin populations explode due to the absence of natural predators such as sea otters, they can overgraze on kelp forests, creating vast areas devoid of vegetation known as urchin barrens. These barren areas lack biodiversity and alter the structure of the Marine ecosystem, however, when sea urchin populations are controlled by predators, they contribute positively to the health of kelp forests. Prey for other species, sea urchins are also an important food source for a variety of marine animals, including sea otters, crabs, large fish, and seabirds. Sea otters, in particular, play a key role in controlling sea urchin populations, thereby promoting the growth and survival of kelp forests. Human Interaction and Uses Culinary Delicacy In many parts of the world, sea urchins are considered a delicacy, particularly their gonads, which are sometimes called uni. Uni is prized in countries like Japan, Italy, and Chile for its rich, briny flavor. It is often served raw, in sushi or sashimi, or used as a garnish for various dishes, aquaculture, and fishing. Overfishing in some regions, particularly where sea urchins are harvested for their roe, overfishing has led to declines in populations. Climate change, rising ocean temperatures and ocean acidification due to climate change pose significant risks to sea urchins. Acidification, in particular, affects the formation of their calcium carbonate shells, making them more vulnerable to predators and environmental stress. Habitat loss. The destruction of telp forests and coral reefs due to human activity and climate change impacts the habitats where sea urchins thrive. 